What's up, what's up, what's up, my fellow Libras? Welcome, guys. I hope you're having a beautifully, phenomenally blessed day. Thank you for joining me for a moment in Becky's House of Cards. Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel down below, set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. Guys, just know that is a free way to support the channel. It also helps me to connect with your energy so that way I can get you out more resonating readings. Also, if you guys are interested in supporting the channel further, please check out the description box. All the links are down below. And also, if anybody is interested in getting a personal reading from me, the instructions are down in the description box below. Today we are going down the rabbit hole, which is a general message from Source for you guys. Now, I was told to do an extended reading for this, and you will find that link in the description box below as well. I have no idea what is going to come out, so let's go ahead and get started. But let me turn on the frequencies that I got here. I don't know why I have them turned off, but whatever. Okay, I didn't have any channel messages for you off the bat. But source, uh, what messages do you have for Libra? You wanted to extend this reading, so there must be something important to talk about. Like the Ace of Swords coming out as I'm saying that. Yep, something important to talk about, y'all. Source, what messages do you have for our Libra friends? How can we help them out? What messages do you have for Libra, Source? How can we help out Libra? Thank you, Source. How can we help out Libra, Source? What do they need to know? Crosswalkers are welcome as well. And keep in mind, energy is fluid. So, Source, what messages do you have? Wow, okay, those two want to come out. Your energy to start off in the reverse. We have the Queen of Swords reversed. And, yeah, this is for you guys. This is your card, too. Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay. So, I hear it's you. Now, um, before I start this, number one, trigger alert. Number two, energy is fluid. So, this could be somebody doing this to you. However, just keep that in mind, okay? And if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. That's okay. Um, I feel like you've been really cold towards somebody here. You've been really cold towards somebody that was sent to help you. That is, that is crazy. Like, it's almost like you feel threatened by this person in some way, shape, or form. Like, and I'm not saying that it's you per se. It could be your emotional ego feels threatened. And so it makes you react instead of respond to the situation. And so you're just like, you're ready to cut this person out, but to like cut them down and be cruel and be ruthless with them. It's like, you feel like that's protecting yourself. And it's, it's interesting because there's a lot of anger coming from this queen of swords here, but this I, guys, I can't make this up. This is your energy. Put up your energy up here. We've got justice and the queen of swords. That is your guys's energy. Okay. That's the strongest version of your energy here. And I, we've got the queen of swords, which is your energy and the three of swords, which is also your energy. It's about you. Okay. Not good or bad, it doesn't matter. It's just that right now you're in a very defensive position because you feel like there's a lot of negativity around you. But what you're not seeing is that in this energy, you're also bringing a sense of, so I did hear jealousy, I heard contempt, uh, anger, fear. Okay, these are all derivatives of fear regardless of what you see. And what is going on here is that you feel like if I cut this person off that I'm somehow protecting myself. And what Source is saying, like you're trying to cut off somebody that's helping you. But this, I don't get a good feeling from this, okay? Like I, I really don't, like I'm just telling you, this Queen of Swords is giving me some really funky feelings like about gossip and stuff like that, guys. And I'm just saying like it's not, it's not really wise to gossip about people because this, the universe works on the law of intent. And so if your intention is, is to cut somebody down, their reputation down, that will always come back, right? Just like if you give love, that will come back. It feels like love takes longer to come back than the, the negative or lower vibrational energy stuff, right? But yeah, I feel like that's the thing. It's like you're, you, you, you connect with this person that helps you and they trigger you. And instead of seeing that as growth, you're seeing that right now as a threat, and so, again, I'm really glad I started with the trigger alert because I'm really feeling funky about this energy. <sighs> okay. You guys are ruled by the heart chakra. 
it's easy for you guys to love being an air sign. You're ruled by the heart chakra. Okay. And you guys are ruled by Venus, which is the planet of love. But when that energy gets in reverse, it's very, it's cruel and it's ruthless, right? It's not, it's not very kind. And, and it may seem like you're putting that out onto somebody else, but in turn, that is just a projection of what's going on within and how you feel about yourself. So it's like your ego is saying, well, we're jealous of this person who's helping us. But in reality, your soul is saying we're afraid of becoming that. We're afraid that we might actually have that within us. You see, and, and that's where that confusion comes from. It's like, oh, I'm not, I'm not egoic. Like I don't have an ego, you know, and it's like that. And it's no, everybody has ego because ego defines us. Ego is our character, right? Some have a more pleasant ego than others. And some have very quiet egos, some have very loud egos, some have very ruthless egos, some have, you know, in, in this. But at any one point in time, Libra, here's the deal. We all can get into this energy and everybody on the face of the planet has been in this energy. Why? Because we're human. We're human. Okay? So whatever's going on right now, it's just a triggering moment. And it's like instead of healing from that or asking what can I do to make myself feel better it's more or less you're you're blaming this person outside you're 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 blaming the situation outside whatever it is or whoever it is that source sent to help you so this could be an opening of gifts and being afraid of the gifts I do feel like this is a person I'm just gonna say that I do really feel like this is a person outside of you but this person is guided by the source, the guide, the the light and love. Like this is somebody that's that's divided, divinely guided. Okay, this person is divinely. Wow, this person makes you feel like you can't speak, right? <laughs> oh, they intimidate you. That's the word. There's a huge intimidation here, and it's like because you're comparing yourself to them, and that's not fair, Libra, at all. It's not fair. Yeah, there's a confusion, uh, an illusion here because you don't want to look within right as being ruled by the heart with this coming out verifying a mother wound here right this is about doing that subconscious purging but see your illusion is on the outside of you and, and rather it's saying the moon here is saying it's time for you to come within to draw within to learn about yourself because there's there's something to learn there's something to gain from this situation this person was sent to help you Right? This person was sent to help you, but it doesn't feel like help. It just feels like stress and anxiety. Yeah, and you feel like maybe they, they've got one over on you. And the truth is, is that this is you not wanting to move forward. It's like you being afraid of, of looking within. Afraid of what you might find. What do we have peeking out here? Yeah. Your stability comes from with you. From within you. From with you. From with you, guys. That was good English. <laughs> no, your stability comes from within and it is cultivated by you learning about yourself. That's it. If you don't learn about who you are, you can't ever bring in something that's stable. Okay. And we have nine, nine coming out together here. This is asking you to close a cycle to find your luck by ending a cycle. That's no longer serving you. What other messages, Source? Thank you. Let's come out this way. Yeah, look at that. You again. Guys, woo! In your head. You don't want to face reality. You don't want to face reality. You don't you you don't want to to do what's necessary here. You're unsure of which way to take. You're defensive at every side. You're mad about the past and scared about the future. Or scared about the past and mad about the future. You know? Can go either way. There's a place here to find truth in yourself. But see, look, if you look, this represents some source, sources, helpers, right? So they have, they have some sources, little helpers. Santa's little helpers are coming in to help you guys. It is around Christmas time. So Santa's little helpers are coming in. Okay. Like, no, honestly, though, the three of swords in my deck, it really represents that divine guided love and light. This is source coming in saying, look, you're not alone. You're not alone. And that's what you're looking at. And in both all air cards, okay, we have all swords. This is in your mind. This is the inability to open your heart, to be that kind, compassionate individual that knows what they want and isn't afraid to lay down the law, right? Because when you're in your swords in the upright energy, 
it's like you've learned from your past mistakes and because of that you've learned how to communicate effectively with people but when you're in the reverse you're not communicating effectively you can't say how you feel because you don't really understand how you feel because you you just think that it's just like ugh, this person again really like why do they do that you know and it's like you're you're over here hoping that your thoughts are going to control this person's actions and this person is truly put in your path to help you but both times you're coming at it from a very reluctant energy like i don't want this person's help look at how you're blocked off on both sides here it's like you made a prayer you said a prayer and this prayer was answered by this person coming in to give you guidance, but it felt like it was just destruction. And that's not the case at all. This is you having to let go of what has burdened you from the past, those old beliefs. Uh, and also to feel if thinking that people have it out for you. Look at that. Ooh, temperance in the reverse, guys. Lack of healing, spiritual emptiness, not listening to source. You have source here in the middle in the upright. Like, I love you, my child. I'm going to guide you, my child. Don't worry about it. Like, you asked me for something and I'm going to answer that prayer. But when, you, when the prayer is answered and it doesn't come in the way that we expect it to come in, we're often resistant to it. And that's where the healing comes from. And that's how the prayer becomes answered in the first place, because you learn the blessing. The blessing is learning the lesson, because now that you've learned the lesson, you don't have to be in that energy any longer. <laughs> There's still hope. There's still a chance for you to rebuild, to understand yourself, to come up into this Queen of Cups energy. Loving, kind, generous, compassionate, wise. Right? But right now, right now in your immediate energy, it's not wanting to move forward. Like you're not wanting to do anything else with this. It's like you just see it as it is. And as it is, it just, it, it upsets you. And because it upsets you, it's like, oh no, like I got to figure out how I can control it. You know, the queen of swords is, she's not very nice when she's in the reverse. This is somebody who's... In, not afraid to go behind somebody's back and say some really nasty things. Wow. <laughs> release coming out, guys. They say it's time to let go of that old belief. And we have release flying out. More energy connected with the heart chakra, connected with the sacral chakra, the root chakra. It's like grounding in your love here to the world. But real love, not conditional love. Like, I'm only going to love this person when they act the way that I want them to act. And so many people are like that. So many people are, are very much in this conditional love. And I feel like you're only experiencing this right now because you yourself had that as a child. Like, I'm only going to give you and show you kindness and love and compassion when you do exactly what I want you to do. Otherwise, I'm going to hurt you and say mean things about you and go behind your back. Source is saying, you know, this is the promise new moon promise coming what did i say this was the prayer the answer to your prayer and that's what sources is, is saying here it's like you have to release this old belief this person or this situation was brought to you to help you to guide you to bring you up into a higher perspective of unconditional love and it's in that that you find the blessing i said that already i can't i can't with source right now i can't right you see this yes it could be love yes it could be love but right now this is look you have to let yourself unfold. You have to let yourself unfurl. This isn't about finding romantic love. This is somebody that was sent to help you and you're in you're you're just in a space of resistance right now. Okay? It's a human thing. When things don't go out the way we envision them to, we get stuck in a space of resistance because we're like that's not how I wanted it to turn out. Well, it's not about how we want it to turn out. Source has a plan. That's it. At the end of the day, you just, you either have faith in that plan or you don't. And the only time our faith gets tested is when it's hardest for us. That's when our faith is being tested. Like, are you willing to walk in faith and to trust that everything is going to work out? Or are you going to be in fear and anger and upset because it didn't go the way that you wanted to, you know, release again. 
Number nine, Jaguar coming out, guys. No. Jaguar release. We have Autumn Equinox here release. Oh, my Lord, Source. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Just so much. This is so crazy. I, I just, this stuff, guys, this stuff baffles me sometimes. We have nine. Nine is about tying up the loose ends, getting things to the end of it so you no longer have to, to deal with it. This is like right before the fruit gets ripe on the tree and falls off, ready to eat. Right? Well, what does that do? When you get to nine, what happens to the fruit next? It's released. And when you release, you start a new cycle. Right? There's something very important about starting a new cycle here. For your purpose, your life purpose coming in. Shark. 36, number nine again. Number nine again, guys. No, I can't with you all right now. Shark purpose. This is about your life purpose. This is releasing a belief that has kept you from being who you're meant to be. But I say like being angry at this person for them doing what they're doing. Like it's, you're jealous because you're not where they're at. And again, I'm not saying that in a bad way. It's a human reaction. What's seemingly inhuman is response because not everybody responds to a situation everybody's quick to react and not very many people are quick to respond and so this is asking if you're willing to respond to the situation and in that response see what is it for me what is this doing for me not what they're doing to you because i don't feel like this person's doing anything to you i feel like they're just being themselves and them being themselves is just triggering the fact that you're not yourself within right and that's okay. That's okay. Everything and everybody we experience in life is a mirror for ourselves. Thank you, Source. Look at this. Relationship patterns coming out on the bottom. 32. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. Five is all about change. This is a huge change for you guys. This is letting go of generational curses. This is something that you've carried with you your whole life. That I bet your mom and your dad carried. That your grandparents carried. That your aunties, your uncles carry. And you're letting it go, like you're looking in the mirror and connecting with a deeper part of yourself. George Clooney, <laughs> he says, if you commit the perfect heist, make sure you don't brag about it. And I feel like this is bringing it back to that gossip energy, right? It's like you can either sit in that gossip energy and everybody's going to know one day because if this person is truly on the spiritual journey, here's the deal. The universe has a sense of humor. At the end of the day, they have a sense of humor. You say, oh, they're not. They're just a fake. They're a phony. They're doing this. They're doing that. And then one day they become a highly sought after guide. And then that, who's the one that's eating their words? You, the one that was saying that about them. Do you see what I'm saying? Like that's, that's, universe has a sense of humor like that. So you can either just say, you know what? I was mad. Just stop with the gossiping. Stop with all that stuff and focus on what this person brought to teach you. And then you'll be on the right path. And then you'll let go of that. That's an old belief, right? To think that somebody's better than you. We're not. Nobody's better than another person. We're all here together doing the thing together. It's called life. Intelligence is the sexiest attribute. Yeah. When you gossip, that's not intelligence. That is jealousy. That's anger. That's fear talking. But using your intelligence, when you stop and you think about where you're headed in your life, that's something that people are like, wow, like that person really did go through it. And when Libra really went through it, they like, they had a chance to build and to grow from that. Is it going to happen overnight? No, it's not about happening overnight. It's about you becoming who you're meant to become, or rather what I'd like to say is unbecoming everything that you have learned, right? You say, once you share your personal life, it's not personal. And so there's some kind of aspect here, you know, personal information that you're sharing with people. And I just want you to know if that's about this person, it will come back. It will come back. Okay. So just be careful. You are limitless. Number four coming out. Okay. This is about your stability, your protection, your inner growth, right? You are limitless. You can do anything you choose. You have swans on here, which represent love. You have this beautiful angel on here, which represents your protection. The peacock, which is prosperity. The unicorn represents purity. Okay, you have these fairies as guides up here. Like, this is a beautiful energy. It's like honoring and owning your own power within, right? But the only way to do that is to release, again, 
I know that this is right because everything that's come out has been so synchronistic. And if it wasn't right, it wouldn't be so synchronistic. It's like source trying to implement exactly the message coming through. Like if you're willing to listen, for those of you that have gotten this far, I really do applaud your efforts because I think you're amazing. And I think for you guys to listen to the not so happy things all the time, to try to learn from that is a huge deal. Because a lot of people will just get mad and they'll be like, well, they don't know what they're talking about, but there really is a profound message there. And what is the message is your spiritual growth. That's your spiritual growth, right? That's your opportunity to become who you were meant to be, to get on your path of purpose. We had purpose coming out and promise. Your life has been promised to your purpose. It's up to you to step into it, right? You can either let people hurt you or you can let people be guides for you and that's the difference it's how you view it are you a, a cup wow okay are you a cup half empty or a cup half full okay i hear one more i didn't want to get that many but they want me to get one more so right there dragonfly moving beyond self-created illusions that have limited your growth exactly that's exactly what this is. This is something that has limited your growth for some time. Ooh, man who sleeps, who secretly sleeps with other men. So some of you guys could be dealing with a significant other. Okay, but there's this energy coming through here. This is more about secrets. Okay, regardless of what's going on, if this is a, a, a divine masculine you're dealing with, it doesn't matter. And or it could be a divine feminine doesn't matter. Okay, here's the deal. This is talking about their secrets. And this is this to me is like spilling secrets that you know you shouldn't be spilling. Okay. And these are secrets that you know you shouldn't talk about. And yet it's like you have a choice. You can move beyond this or you can let this be the guide for you. Because once you share it, it's not personal anymore. And should this person become successful because they truly are on the, on the path, they are a, a child of God, right? Just know that that comes back to you and people are going to discredit you and they're not going to believe you in that. Okay. And again, guys, if you made it this far and this is somebody doing it to you, that, that just understanding that that is, that's on them. Okay. You've given away your power. Exactly. You've given away your power to your emotional ego and letting somebody have that much power over how you feel about yourself. That's difficult too, right? You don't have to let somebody be that, like you have to be okay with you. And this person probably doesn't even think about you in any one way, shape, or form like that. What I'm saying is that you have to be okay with you regardless of who comes into your journey, into your path. You're fighting with releasing the father when this came out in another reading too. This one does not come out very often. Yeah, so that makes a lot of sense here. That that detachment, that need for approval, exactly like that. Like, what am I talking about? Not letting somebody else be the reason why you think a certain way about yourself. It's like, if they don't approve of me, then who's going to? And it's like, this person doesn't feel like they need to approve of anybody because we all feel the same, right? It's like that energy, we're all here to do the same thing. And that's what I feel from this person, especially if they're on this journey, they're not comparing themselves to you. They're not comparing you to anybody. They see you Libra as you, but that's what, that's what the, the goal is, is to see yourself as yourself. And can you be okay with that? Holding together on a prayer and a piece of bubble gum. What did I say? This was an answer to a prayer. This was an answer to a prayer. I said that at the beginning of this reading, guys. And there we go. Source coming in. Guess what? You're holding together on a prayer and a piece of bubble gum. And it's not very sturdy. It doesn't mean that it won't happen for you. But the thing is, is that when you reject the answers to the prayers that you've asked for to be answered, that resistance is what starts to make tower moments in your life, right? Like where things fall apart, where things seem to like go awry and they're disastrous. And so source is saying like, I'm answering your prayer. There's healing here. There's something that you can gain from here. There's something that you can take back, which is your power. And you can let go of trying to spread secrets and trying to, you know, like your secrets too. This could be your secrets. Maybe you need to keep more things to yourself, right? But it's like you've given your power away and this is an opportunity for you to take back your power because I answered your prayer. It's just not the way that you thought it was going to come. Most of us say a prayer and we think the answer is going to be easy. We're like, oh, that's cool. I said my prayer. Now source is going to answer. It's going to be super easy. I'm not going to have to do anything. It's just going to be handed to me on a little silver platter. And that shit comes in a garbage truck buried at the bottom in a bunch of guck. And we're like, did you bring me any gloves? I mean... 
I got to dig for it now. Shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's ugly. It's dirty. It's, and it, why is that? Because that's what changes. Change is not fluid. Change is not easy. Change is oftentimes disruptive. Most times it's disruptive. It hurts. Right? So, source saying, I'm answering your prayer. Okay? So, guys, I'm going to leave this one here and I'm going to extend this. I want to find out more about this connection of this person that's sent to help you because I want to know more about them. I'm nosy. I'm just going to say it right off the bat. And I also want to find out about this man who secretly sleeps with other men. I want to get more clarification on is that you spreading secrets because of this queen of swords in the reverse or is there really something else that you need to be aware of okay so we'll go a little bit further in depth on that um if this is where we should part ways though i do appreciate you guys spending your most precious asset with me your time it is truly an honor a pleasure and a blessing being here and my prayer as always is that any video of mine that you watch fall upon your heart in such a way that remind you to use your intuition, your discernment to take back your power to go make the best decisions for your best journey in this now moment. Uh, should you guys follow me on over to the extended? Thank you so much for the support. It means so very much. I'll see you guys over there in a minute. That link is down below. So until next time, guys, go forth boldly, my fellow Libras, and courage courageously find creative ways to rise above in life, laughter, and love. And so we meet each other again. Mwah. Peace out. I love y'all. Bye.